Sudoku, Sudoku, Sudoku. I don't even know how to say it, but I love it. I'm enthralled by it. The craze. People love it. I'm that guy even. I'm that guy who has every little box filled in. As you try to read that magazine on the plane in the seat back pocket, it's already filled in. Don't even worry about it. I got it covered. And then when I'm done with that, I take out my phone, open up the app, and I'm on to more Sudoku. And then maybe those Kenken puzzles, and the logic puzzles, I'm on it, I'm on it, I'm on it. And a lot of people love these silly little numbers, putting them in little silly squares, but why? We don't get a trophy, we don't level up, we don't even earn a cookie unless the Delta flight attendant is coming down the aisle. Gotta love those cookies. So why do we love it? Maybe it's in my jeans, I said. My grandma, she does them in between her knitting sessions. Can't wait till Christmas for that sweater. But seriously, why do we love them so much? And I hear a lot of people saying, asking around, it's because that sense of pride, that sense of accomplishment. That's why I do it. It makes me feel that sense of accomplishment. But wait, no, that doesn't do it for me. It just doesn't. I could get that same feeling by running a marathon, running a Spartan race. I can get it by folding the sheets on my bed every morning and making my bed. Sense of accomplishment and excuses. The explanation just doesn't do it for me. Why I think we love it is because it makes sense. It's logical. It makes sense. Every little number fits perfectly into every row column, box, and when it's all complete, it's just perfect sense. And I think this goes way back to childhood when we did this. We would spend hours putting these little wooden pegs into the little wooden cutouts trying to feed which ones fit because it makes sense. And when we got it, it was awesome. It was awesome. It was awesome. I think making sense is instinctual. And I think this is where my love for math has evolved. I love math because it makes sense. And I find it so, so beautiful, but I know there's so many people out there who totally, totally, totally disagree with me. In an article, New York Times article, Why Do Americans Think at Math? A, they did a study, or there's a, they quoted a 2012 study comparing 16 to 65 year olds in 20 different countries and found that Americans rank in the bottom five in numeracy. Numeracy, the literacy equivalent when it comes to numbers. The bottom five. Richest country. And this example, I can't give enough of this example. AW, the root beer company, famous for the root beer, 1980s, they came out with a one third pounder cheeseburger. And it had great, great te taste test reviews. It had better than McDonald's, better than Burger King, great tasting one third pounder. Yet it failed miserably on the market to McDonald's quarter pounder. And this is what people said. They said, I'm not going to buy, why would I buy a burger? For more money that has less meat. Come on now. Come on now. A burger. Maybe that's why the only time I've ever seen this Angus Third Pounder by McDonald's is on Google Images. Come on now. There are a lot of people who hate math, a lot of people who stink at math, and a lot of people who think one third is smaller than one fourth. But you can't blame them why. We got teachers out there teaching step by step processes holding people's hands and teaching them absolutely nothing about sense making. About sense making. Let me give you an example here. Um, this was also in the New York Times article. I've never seen this before until then. They say draw a butterfly. Draw a butterfly. Cool. Draw that. Make an antenna. Draw the other wing. Make an antenna. Draw the bottom. Make the bottom. And then we, kind of, we got our answer. There. Drawing a butterfly. Yes, we got the right answer. It gets students to the right answer. But there's no why. It does not make sense. And then we wonder why people, the A&W's burger fail miserably. This did not make any sense. And people hate math because of it. I don't blame them. I don't blame them. For so long we have been teaching such methods, I've been a victim to it, and I've actually been a victim of teaching it early on in my career. Phil Darrow, he's one of the three primary writers of the Common Core Mathematics Standards. He calls this technique answer getting. We teach in America our students answer getting, how to arrive at an answer. We don't teach students that essential understanding or that sense making process of things. And it's not helping us. It's not. It's breeding followers, repeaters, dependent students who need the teacher, their approval at every single step of the way. And if they see any little obstacle, they're afraid to move forward by themselves. We're not teaching what we strive 
build as teachers, grow as teachers, independents, entrepreneurs, problem solvers, thinkers. We're just, we're not. And we need to. I have this huge sign in front of my room right here. Right here, if you can't see it, makes sense. I preach to my students, we preach together, make sense of things every step of the way. For example, subtracting exponents. We know the rule when we divide, we subtract exponents, 5 minus 3, so easy. x squared, we got the answer, move on to the next lesson, but no, students forget that in two seconds. Because that's an answer getting technique. Why don't we understand why that works? We know exponents mean multiply, that is 5x's being multiplied, and on the bottom we have 3x's being multiplied. And we also know that something divided by itself is 1. One, one, so that, 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 that is why we have two x's left over. Not only does it make sense, it's actually pretty cool and awesome how it works out, and it embeds a much, much deeper understanding of math content, not just answer getting techniques, and we preach this all along the way. Make sense for everything. Why do students, why does it make sense for students to go get a late pass? Explain that to them. Why does it not make sense for this student to be yelling across the room during independent practice or quiz time? Explain that to them. And then finally, when you inevitably get that question from that student in the way, way back. So Mr. K, why math? This doesn't make sense to be doing for life. Why do we do it? And sure, you could sprinkle in, it teaches to persevere through problems, it does. You could say it teaches students to pay attention to detail. I totally believe in these things as well. But I think most importantly, math teaches students to make sense. Math, just like life, is a sense-making subject. I beg you, especially mathematics instructors, please make it make sense. With everything you do, makes sense. Except for that, of course, girls in love. Island. Thank you. Makes sense.